Hey everyone, today I have a really special video for you. This is a conversation between me and one of my students, Jake, inside the practical screenwriting course. This video is just about him talking about his experience inside the course and how the course transformed his writing. And if you're ready to get inside the course yourself, you can click the link in the description for $150 off. Enjoy the video. So like when you, when you found my course, when you found my material and that sort of thing, kind of where were you at and like, what appealed, what about the course kind of appealed to you and wanted or made you want to get inside? Well, I think I found your channel before the course, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I think right. I, lo I loved your channel because it talked about screenwriting in a way that few people on YouTube were talking about. Kind of like, um, you know, Dan Harmon's Story Circle, for example. Mm -hmm. and stuff like those type of videos like stakes etc those things and i think i enjoyed your videos loved them and i think because i loved them so much i thought and you said about the course i was like well i might as well because if i don't today it might never go back down so mm -hmm. i did it and well when i got the course it was fun, but it was kind of like, it kind of helped me not in the way I expected okay. because I thought it'd be like, okay, screenplay, you do this, 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 this. And that's, that's what your channel does. But in the course, it's all about um, your mindset, like habits, like writing every day etc so <clears throat> i think the course taught me like to go into a proper mindset like just get everything outside have your own space right don't have to write too much like if you set a minimum set a maximum minimum half a page maximum i don't know two pages as long as you're writing every single day and you were like, if you write one page every day, you could write like three drafts in one year. Mm -hmm. So it helped with the mindset type of thing. And my mindset, I've already said, wasn't there. It was all about, I want to be like this guy, but my mindset should have been on, I want to create stories. I am a writer. And that was another thing, because I think one of the lessons was um ch change your identity because i was always going around saying oh, i'm an aspiring writer i'm a, an aspiring director etc but you said change your identity you are a writer so that kind of changed it and i was like i'm a writer i'm trying i'm amateur but i am a writer mm -hmm. so that that helped so the course helped in a way I didn't expect and probably in the best way possible. That's awesome. That's so good to hear. Uh, I, I know that we, me and you have talked a lot in the Facebook group. Um, mm. Just like, you know, because I, I, I saw that like when you're posting like your habit tracker sheets and like mm. talking about how consistent you've been and that sort of thing, which has been awesome. And then just, you know, just generally talking and having different conversations and talking about stories and this and that. Um, so I wanted to ask you what, like, how beneficial has the group been to you? Like, how have you felt like it's been helpful? Um, what things have you taken from that, that like weren't necessarily just material from the course? Um, the group's been helpful because I see there are other people in my shoes trying to write. And also I think like trying to be a good critic, et cetera. Like, yeah, my work, I hope people are good critics to me, but I have to be a good critic to everybody else. Mm -hmm. And loads, I think loads of Facebook chats, like people are putting in scripts, no one's reading them, no one's getting replies. But nowadays I like, if there's a script that's put in the group, I try and read it and mm -hmm. I try and give my real feedback my honest feedback not 
because honesty is like the best policy like mm-hmm. you're never gonna learn unless I don't unless I give you honest feedback and that's what I hope people do to me so mm-hmm. yeah and it's good because like they keep you on track like now I'm make, writing a feature film I've got like a de- set a deadline of 20th of April I've made sh- I've made sure in my post like remind me don't let me forget and I think someone else was like, don't let me forget this deadline. I'll try and remember it. The 20th of March, he said, I'll remember his deadline. And yeah, hopefully Facebook group is just a perfect place for people to just talk about writing, talk about what they're going through, the hardships, the rewards, etc. stuff like that. It's yeah, absolutely. Perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. And that, that was like, you know, my hope for the group was that, you know, this right here happens that once you actually go through the information, you know, now you can be in a community of other people that are trying to do the exact same thing. And so yeah, you can, you know, cause like a lot of times people try to start something new or they try to like make a change, like a mindset change, but it doesn't become yeah. real because they don't have other people to keep them on track, you know? And yeah, so, exactly. yeah. Like, going through the group and and staying there like helps stay on track and you can watch people and and people can watch you and the thing about like being a good critic i absolutely agree it's like you know Mm. you want good criticism and you also want to be able to give good criticism and it's also that when you are able to give good criticism it means that you are getting better and better at identifying what's working in a story and what isn't. And then you can exactly. also, you know, bring that back to your own writing and make exactly. yourself a better writer, you know? Exactly. Cause I've, I've seen in various group chats, like the first <clears throat> feedback they give is like, Oh, this is an in script format. Da, da, da. And it's like, that's, that's not what we should be looking at. We should be mm-hmm. looking at like what's wrong with the story wrong with these things i think format is like the least like the least least important thing on the on the scale like i don't care about format like if the story is great but it's written on microsoft Word in like comic sans font (laughs) like i I don't mind honestly i don't mind my thing is just like i i agree with you in the idea that you know Format should always be the last thing. Anybody, you know, you don't even have to be a writer to write in script format. You know, you can just exactly. have somebody format something. That's not what the, that's not where the skill is. You know, the skill mm. is in being able to write and craft a great story. It's exactly. not in being able to, to make sure that the dialogue is under the character and, and that everything is perfectly spelled correctly. Like you worry about that later and focus on the core of what will make this good, which is it actually being a good story. So I absolutely agree. Exactly. And yeah, that's another thing. Like rewriting, I never grasped how, like, why is rewriting so important? Just write Mm -hmm. the script and then it's done, isn't it? But that's not the case. Rewriting is probably like 70% of screenwriting. So I've learned that the first draft, just get it done. It doesn't matter how good it is. It could be really bad. Just get it out. Then the rewrite happens. Then you look at like the philosophical conflict, the dialogue, um, and like the genre, etc. all that stuff. More thing. Some things are more important than others. Like, mm-hmm philosophical conflict is like number one like it's more important than dialogue dialogues are not terribly important as much as people go on about it it's not right important. it's just right like it's it, it is it is it's important but it's like you have to when you are fixing problems you have mm. to fix you, you have to fix problems in the right order and start in the yeah. right place so it's like you fix dialogue later on because it doesn't matter if your dialogue's perfect if your characters aren't working at all you know exactly so yeah, you have to exactly. layer it correctly up and then you know and that helps you actually look at this draft in a way where you can 
focus on the right things versus trying to just fix these different scenes that you have no idea how they're connected or how they're working together, you know? Exactly, exactly. But, um, Simple. <clears throat> so I wanted to ask you, um, would you recommend this course to other people? And if so, who do you think this course is for? I would recommend this course and I would recommend it to the people that are serious about writing or even if you're not that serious because I wasn't that serious when I started but you do want to get in this writing game you want to become a writer no matter like how serious you are I still think it's beneficial um your channel is for one thing but the course is for another completely different thing and both of us are as important as each other I mean you can have just the channel but you won't get you won't get the um you won't get the habits you won't get the mindset and you can have just the course but the channel is important too because it gets into the nitty-gritty the specifics of writing but and yeah I think both of them are as important as each other I think the course helps you with your mindset it helps you gain a habit it helps you write every day i know when I, someone first told me if you want to be a writer you write every day i thought i don't want to write every day i can't do that <laughs> i can't do that but you can you can i mean i've written have I, i've written a little today i mean i'll write some more later but mm -hmm. it's like once you get into a habit, it'll just, it'll just be a habit. You just won't even notice that you're writing. And yeah, it helps you. It helps you with like being a perfectionist. Take that out of your mind. You don't need to be a perfectionist. Like just get it done, get it written. It's fine. It just helps you on the mindset of being a writer and if also if you're still saying you're aspiring it helps you in that as well because you, no one's aspiring you are you are a writer you are a filmmaker you're just not at a professional level but that's okay everyone started from somewhere so it just yeah, absolutely. helps you on the mindset stuff that's like awesome. that so i'd recommend it definitely i mean i wouldn't be hit i wouldn't be writing if it wasn't for you in reality so yeah thanks thanks dude wow that's amazing that's so cool to hear um yeah um but yeah thanks so much for talking to me hey i hope you enjoyed that conversation between jake and i if you're ready to get inside the course yourself click the link in the description to get 150 dollars off